Pond Division is going to be uh, loaded with some very interesting style matchups. Nick, not surprisingly, pulling. Again, he is great on the legs, so expect to see him trying to elevate and get under Aaron. I'm sure Aaron, being familiar with Nick's game, is going to try to stay tight, kill those hips, try to avoid those leg entanglements and those lifts. But Nick is not a one-trick pony. He has some very dangerous back attacks and arm locks as well. Right away, Nick's in on the leg, getting yeah, him Ashley. And you got to think this is very early, so they're dry. Neither guy's tired. Neither guy's too sweaty right now. So this is the perfect time to get in on the leg early in a match. Nick has to be a little cautious of Aaron getting his back and exposing it. Aaron doing a very, very good job at keeping those legs triangled, making sure that he doesn't get his leg extended and keeping a good base. But Nick doing a good job at making sure that he's keeping them off balance. Nick trying to pull that heel in and unlock the triangle. Aaron did a beautiful job escaping that entanglement early on. He has to build a little confidence that he can get in and out of those leg entanglements if necessary. Kind of seeing a classical kind of body lock type pressure pass against leg locker um, battle right here. Yeah, we'll Something see. I think you're going to see quite a bit in the divisions today. Um, They're trying to go for that leg again. It's got a nice entry. It's a nice position. Leg isolated. Aaron is doing a good job trying to clear that knee line. It looks like he's got the knee line cleared. Nick's going to try pummeling. to slide to that other side. Free and coming up on top. There we go. All right, they reset. Let's see if Aaron decides to go for the body lock again. Yeah, after two uh, entries by Nick, where he was able to get in the legs, unsuccessful at getting in there, you'll see if that's going to make Aaron change. And it does. It looks like he's staying a little bit more upright to try to create a little bit more space. Um, he might be asking Nick kind of to come in so he can get this cross face he's looking for now. Sure. That's a great way to prevent the leg locker to get underneath if you can get that nice cross face to keep the head away from the body. Coach Brad Snyder asking Nick to look for some wrestle-ups as well, which I think is great advice because you don't want to be that one-trick pony to where Aaron can start just getting comfortable there and make him think about different things. Sure. This seems to be a very consistent position that both competitors are agreeing to. A very, very nice head and arm position here. And just as we saying, he decided to switch his strategy away from the legs. And now he gets a beautiful look on the neck. He may use this, this to sweep even if he doesn't get the finish. Coming on top, so we can see some of his top game. He gets good control. He transitions really to the anaconda. Nice. Nick now has a really nice anaconda set. I think he's going to get this. This is very tight. There There's it a is. tap. Nicholas Creighton with the submission. Very nice anaconda finish right there. And like I said in the beginning, we have a very high sub rate at the show. Guys and girls come to fight. 